Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to demonstrate, we're going to review and demonstrate how to clean your fireplace. Now, you, one thing about living up in the mountains is you end up, I, I, heat, I heat my home three different ways. I heat it, I have natural gas, I have a pellet stove that you've probably seen down in my shop, and then I have a wood burning fireplace. And one of the things about having a wood burning fireplace is you really need to clean it out a couple times a year. And generally, I would clean it out in the springtime. Um, this year I forgot to do it, and now um, I've started burning more wood because it's pretty cold up here in the mountains. So um, I've decided to clean it out today. So I've let it cool down for about three, I haven't had a fire in the fireplace for two or three days now. And um, today we're going to review. Um, I got a uh, I got a fireplace cleaner off of Amazon. Now you can uh, when I first when I first uh, last year I hired a fire a chimney sweeper guy, and they charge about 150 bucks. So I decided this year that I would try to I would try to save some money, and. Um, I bought this kit off Amazon, and I'll, I'll put a link in the description. But today we're going to review it. Uh, comes with some gloves, which I don't know if I'll use those, but basically everything in the kit. So this is basically, I got a 30 foot one because my flute probably goes up 20 feet, and the kits that I saw were like 12 and then they jumped up to about 20. So today, we're going to clean out this fireplace and I will go step by step and show you how I do it. Now we're going to do a bottom up because um, my roof is really steep and I don't feel like going up on top of the roof and going down. So we're going to do a bottom up technique and I'll take you step by step. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is put out some plastic, get your shop back, Get your, um, get your metal can to get your coals out of there and basically clean, clean the inside of the fireplace first. Right here I, I get all the coals out and then I vacuum it all up and get ready to, um, to use the chimney sweep. Now this chimney sweep um, I got on Amazon and it was $82. So I figured, you know, you do it two or three times a year you're going to save yourself a couple hundred dollars a year by doing it yourself. Now, the the little end piece, the brush that it came with, I had to spend a little time getting it to flex out the way I wanted. Um, and actually what I did was I I held them the other way and then I used a I used a lighter to kind of keep them out, keep them flexed out. That took a little bit of time. You know, when they're stuck in that bag so long, they, they were just in a fixed position. Right here, I get my, um, I get it ready to go and I start it up there. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you that I waited too long to clean, to clean this fireplace because you can, you can see how much, um, how much stuff's coming down. So it was a, it was a pretty good mess. Matter of fact, every every rod that I stuck up, another pile came down. So there was quite a bit. I should. I'm going to start cleaning my fireplace um, three times a year, just because of this. And it's probably because the type of wood that I burn is my local Ponderosa pine. If I was burning oak or something like that, it probably wouldn't be as bad. But you can see this thing's doing a really good job. And one thing I like about it, as opposed to some of the other chimney sweeps, is that the, these have a button snap, so they can't really come undone. And if you, some of the other ones that I've seen on there had actually uh, screwed, where it's screwed on, but, it, but if it comes unscrewed when it's up there, you know, you're going to have a hell of a time getting it back out. And you can see this fireplace is really dirty. Um, yeah, I, a lot came out actually.
And I ran it all the way up to the top until I felt the cap at the top. And it worked really well. Now I put a time clock up in the right hand corner to show you how long it takes to do it by yourself. It was, it was a little messy though. I should have worn some overalls or something. It was, um, I wasn't expecting that much to come out of there. Now right there, I've, I've, I've gotten to the top and then I work my way down using the drill and on each one as I take them out. I was surprised actually how how much came out of that flute. Um, so it was long overdue. And you can see I should have wore those gloves in the beginning because my hands got really dirty. Look how much is coming out right there. Anyway, I, I would give this, um, this particular one on Amazon a, a, a high mark. It did, really, it, it did really work good. And I'm going to be using this probably three times a year. Um, I think it's, a, it's important to do to keep yourself from having a, fire, a chimney fire. And yeah. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I, I, I would highly recommend um, this product from Amazon. It actually, uh, it worked really well and I was able to uh, do a really good job cleaning my, uh, cleaning my fireplace. Now, fire, cleaning your fireplace, I would say it's pretty, uh, if you use it as much as I do, you could even clean it three times, three times a year. Um, at a minimum, I would clean it once a year. But this product from Amazon, it, it worked really well. I'm probably gonna, um, I'm probably gonna use, try out one of those, uh, those logs uh, also each year. Um, it's, a, it's a, you burn it and it's a creosote log that, you, that is supposed to help to keep the chimney clean. Anyway, uh, yeah, thumbs up for that product. I'll, I'll list it right here the, where I got it and the name of it. And the connections on it were really good. Uh, a lot of them, they are screw connections. And I really didn't want one of those because let's say you're going up the chimney and you accidentally twist it the other way. You're gonna lose that, uh, you're gonna lose that rod up in the chimney possibly. So, so these had snap connections that were really strong. And um, yeah, it was a it was a very good buy. I I want to say well, I'll list I'll list the price of it right here because I could I could never remember. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and uh, I will see you next time. Later.